Addressing problems across the city comes with a cost, and that's why council members are working right now to figure out how to best use your pet taxpayer money. Our Joe Bruno is live in Durham, where council is having their retreat, and Joe, council members are making some progress on a budget out there. Yeah, they're looking at the 21 fiscal 2021, excuse me, fiscal year budget. They're pretty optimistic about how it's looking right now, but they do have some work cut out for them. Right now, they're projecting $17.5 million in new revenue for 2021. The problem is expenditures are estimated at $24.3 million, and that leaves the city with a $6.8 million hole to fill. Contributing to that funding gap is salary increases for first responders that have been implemented in recent years. Funding for public Public safety salary increases is up 78%. But that pay raise is crucial for officer retention. 65 officers retired last year, 47 resigned, and there are currently 182 openings in the department. City staff feels pretty good about the current state of the budget. Last year, staffers were able to trim $12 million from departments with no major impacts to service. Councilman and Budget Chair Ed Drigg says that $6.8 million gap is pretty typical and he's not concerned. That's a fairly typical conclusion that we reach at this point in time, and it's based on the assumption that we make about salary increases. So basically what we're talking about is studying further how we will fund the salary increases. And in the past, we've been able to solve that. We're looking at three different bonds that voters will have the opportunity to approve or deny at the 2020 ballot. It will be a $50 million bond for affordable housing, $30 million for neighborhoods, and $117.2 million for transportation. Back to you. Joe Bruno breaking down the numbers for us, and thanks for staying on top of how taxpayer money is going to be budgeted. Joe, thanks a lot. And you can see Joe's full report from the City Council retreat today starting at 5 o'clock.